Hello and welcome back to Survival with a Twist, or SWAT for short. Uh, my name is Dougal from Dougalcraft and we are outside the Hall of Fame. So let me jump into first person. Yes, I have still haven't cleaned up out here. <coughs> oh, excuse me for that. Um, yeah, I made it. A, I worked a little bit on here, but it, it didn't do much yet. Um, I put a bit of trim on here, made the pillars look a bit more, a bit fancier, and yeah, I have a plan to redstone this whole thing up here, like I did with the last one, light switch, and then da -da -da -da, let the redstone. But I'll do it probably after I recorded this episode. So let's welcome the new users, the new subscribers to the SWAT team. Um, I also go. I am also going to put the other signs from the other Hall of Fame in here. So, yeah, welcome to the SWAT team. Let's start right here. Uh, Zachyman's Games. It's all in one word. I just couldn't fit it on a sign. Welcome. And we got Portio Popera. Party O Party O Papra. I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, probably did it wrong, but yeah, welcome. And we got Daniel Lever, uh, Tristan Rose, and Cannon Backle. Cannon Backle, cool name. <laughs> welcome to the SWAT team. So we are going to head right over to the kingdom. So as usual, you are gonna get one of these jump cuts. See you in a sec. So here we are again. Um, I went over to the temple because I wanted to show you the temple in the new texture pack as well. Um, it looks kind of weird because we got old textures blending with new textures, but um, it doesn't clash too much. So it, it is all right. Like um, we got like the skeleton heads and all this armor stuff looks a bit cartoony. And uh, there's a bit of a little texture gap here by the creeper hat, but yeah, that's cool. This looks cool though, the chain armor, that looks pretty cool. Looks like a, a crusade armor, and we have the clocks here, and the chops, the hydra chops, and yeah, the, the stuff looks pretty cool. Um, for some reason the zombie hat doesn't have one. The only thing which I do not like in this texture pack is the bookshelves. Look at them. The, the table, the charting table looks pretty awesome. But the bookshelves are, I don't know, they're a little dull. But yeah, um, I'm, I can get used to that. So, uh, the reason I came over here was um, I decided um, earlier off cam, instead of collecting gold for the uh, workers, which I wanted to do, um, I collected more material. I picked up the wood already, and then we have lots of cobblestone down here, blended in here. So let's just chuck all this stuff. Ah yeah, and we from last time we still got some in here. Because this episode is going to be a simple and quick one, we are going to focus on getting our kingdom to the full tier 2. Um, oh, there's another jungle. What in here? Do I, did I have any more? No. All these ones are incomplete stacks. Okay. <clears throat> I'm coughing. I don't know. It's really dry. Really dry throat for some reason. Excuse me for that. So, um, yeah, the goal wall is saying get to tier 2. Or we are at tier 2, but we want to fill out the full tier 2. Because we want to eventually get... There is some really... Is it you? Go away, you bird. Really noisy. We want to get the whole kingdom done so we can move the temple and the spawner and all this over in that direction and we can focus on doing all the dimensions and the elemental tinkerer because that's a pretty big mod to focus on. Um, what else do we got? We got the nether um, and the twilight forest. Whoa! Hello Mr. Bear. Leave me alone. Uh, the nether, I want to explore the nether because there's a few new things in it. What? Pet's name? And what? Bear, leave that bird alone. So. Uh, again, sorry for the interruption. Uh, nether, um, there is a few new things in the Nether, like Nether cities and stuff like this. I want to explore them, Nether dungeons, and new ones. And I want to do a Nether hub, um, in which we can jump quickly from one side of the world to the other. Uh, get Kingdom, that's what we're working on right now. Then the Develop Kingdom is what we're working on right now. Um, harvest Diamonds, that's a long way to go. Uh, pet Dragon. 
what did I write? Pet dragon. Why did nobody correct me on this one yet? All right, let's get a pet dragon, <laughs> and then kill the ender dragon. Dragon. <coughs> I think after the kingdom, the first thing we should focus on is getting a pet dragon. So, uh, pet dragon. Nobody said anything yet. All right, then let's head on over bouncy jumpy to our kingdom and of course I'll jump cut again. See you in a sec. So here I am again. I was just wondering how are these redstone lamps lit? How are they lit? There's no signal going into them. Very strange. Must be... Oh, I don't know. How are they lit? Anyone has an answer? Let me know. I have no idea. I don't see a redstone torch or anything going into them. It's just a couple of stairs, slabs, fence post, redstone lamp. Anybody knows the answer? Let me know. I want to use... I would love to use this kind of system for... Is it a redstone lamp or is it just a glowstone block? Let me just check what they look like. Glow... Ah, it's just glowstone. Okay, then I understand. Because the redstone... This texture pack, because a redstone lamp looks very similar. Okay. Then we might as well use glowstone. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, ignore what I said. <laughs> um, I hope you guys have discovered the new series I put up on the channel. Um, Don't starve. A really, really fun game. If you haven't, there is going to be an annotation here on that window. Go ahead and check it out. Do it after this episode. Um, really, really cool, fun game. But I'll explain it all over there. So let's get crafting, or let's get building. Uh, yeah, let's start build. Da -da -da -da. I made a backup of the game already, so let's give him all what we got. Damn it, I have the logs in my backpack. Alright, let's give him some more logs. Let's start with something interesting. The houses we, we can do in the end. Let's do a block shop. Wow, that's expensive. Where is the block shop? I guess that's this thing. With the horse trapped inside. Poor horsey! Get out of there! Sorry I had to kill you. Sorry I had to kill your parent. I think it was your parent. He was trapped. Trapped inside the block shop. Um, yeah, um, Ozzy or Osman. Um, I call you Aussie from now on, I hope you don't mind. Uh, said to me, or said in one of the, um, the uh, comments below in the previous episode, the villagers, you can give them tools and they will follow you harvesting and so on. Yeah, I tried that in a previous version. I'm probably going to try that again once the kingdom is all up and running. I tried that in a previous version and it was a bit buggy. It didn't really want to work. So I guess that Agansan has fixed this by now, but um, I will try it once the kingdom is done. So, ooh, look at him. Wise old man. Wise old man. What you got? What you got? Uh, he is selling blocks. That's pretty useful. Glass, lapis block, dispensers, sandstone. Hmm. Can I buy sandstone? And then why is the... Ah, interesting. You see the green dots on the right side there? It's underneath the block. Like if I click on this. Ah, but it still works correctly. Okay. Great. Yeah, let's see what else we got. We got TNT, we got bricks, we got pistons, we got flower, bookshelves, obsidian, torch. Hmm, interesting. How much is a torch? Nine gold. Interesting. Ah, uh, block of gold, block of iron. Diamond ore. That's interesting. We can buy some diamond ore, and with a fortune pick, we might get more out of it. And we got block of diamond. How much is that? That's probably really expensive. Uh, Six thousand eight hundred. That's not that expensive. We got 
29,000. Yeah, I did collect some gold, so we can buy some workers. Uh, and then I stopped at some point because I just got bored with collecting gold from the zombies. Um, furnace, rail, yeah, he got all the blocks. Dragon egg, wow, that's cool. Vines, what cheap is 54 gold for vines? Ouch, how much a dragon egg? Oi, 90,000. Okay, um, yeah, that's very useful. Uh, we're probably gonna make use of you, sir, at some point. Uh, anything in your chest? Probably not, no. Alright, let's get on to the next building. Very, very nice. Anything useful in a storage room down here? No, just stone. I don't like the texture of the stone, of the standard stone. There is a bit of a, you see, there's a bit of a texture in it, but I wish that the texture would be a little more, a little stronger. Because the clean stone, it just looks very plain. So I wish there would be a little more of it there. But, yeah, you can't have it all. I do like this texture pack, though. If you guys have any comments about the texture pack, just let me know on, uh, in the comments below. And if you want to see other texture packs, I'll gladly swap around a little bit. But for now, we stick with this. Alright, let's give you more logs and more cobble and go for a food shop. And then we'll build the barracks straight away as well. So, where do we have those buildings? This looks like the barracks. Every time I see this thing in the sky. Every time. Gillian. <laughs> oh, I hear a suffering horse. I'm guessing a horse got caught underneath the barracks. No, it's dead. So, here we got the barracks. Really nicely done building as well. Very well done. Uh, what I can do in the barracks here with this guy. Um, I can recruit knights and archers and then I can uh, upgrade them as far as I know and they will follow me around, they will fight at my side, they will defend the kingdom. Um, very cool, very well done. Uh, this is uh, something I do a lot as well and, and if you've, you've probably seen it in my server play, uh, fireplace, just put some netherrack down, put them on fire and I oh have yeah, talk, talking I'm, I'm all over the place speaking of which fire uh, check this out flint uh, flint and steel steel flint and steel <laughs> so why didn't it show for flint and steel. There we go. <laughs> Check this out. That looks cool, doesn't it? A flint and steel in this texture pack looks like a zippo. Like a little lighter thingy. <laughs> I really like that. That's a very cool touch. Um, okay, let's check out the food shop. I'm guessing that's where we get the cake. Uh, is that the food shop? Oh, falling star, falling star. There. Go for it. Why don't you sprint? Shooting star... Yes! Got it! So, let's go to the food shop. Yeah, the shooting star, for those of you who don't know, is from the... Whoa! There was a ghost somewhere. And there's a zombie. Ah! Uh, the zombies look cool. Ah, yeah! You see them falling apart? It's a mod I added. I forgot to mention completely. I added the mod dismemberment mob, the the mob dismemberment mod. It's kind of a bit bloody, as you see. Here's a bit of blood around, and <coughs> the vanilla mobs they will fall apart. They will lose their limbs and just like fall apart. Just I, th I thought it was funny, so I'll just edit that one. So yeah, you just saw it in action. Here we got ooh cake. We got cake. Oh, the cake looks nice in this one. Texture pack. Strawberry cake. I can't open this door, alright. She don't want me to come inside. There's more cake outside. Can I come to the front door? Yeah. Ah, I'm ah it's an... Okay. Mm -hmm. Iron door. Um, alright, cake lady. What are you selling? 
Of course, all the food items. Um, let's check quickly how much a pork chop is. 21, that's not bad. Chicken, 21. Steak cost 43. Mm -hmm, interesting. Raw beef cost 32. Raw pork chop, 21. Cooked and cooked chicken, 21. I would go for chicken. Healthier, anyways. So, and we got plenty of cake. Plenty of cake around here. And we got a cell block. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Cake lady, I'll leave you alone and just stack up on a few more houses. And then we go up to tier 3 and I'll call it an episode. If I have enough material for that, of course. So. There you are. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there. So, Mr. Builder, give looks. Oh, I'm running out of material. Too bad. I still have plenty in here. Oh, that's wrong. Okay. We should have enough to get to the full. So, small house. Large. No, we don't have enough. Ah, we had enough for small. That's it. Ah, we ran out of material. But we can build a few, uh, buy a few workers from that money I made. And let's see how fast, uh, let's see how far they got with the one worker they had. I had a letter, a floating letter. I'm gonna get rid of that. Don't like a floating letter. Some glitch from some building. So, let's see. Workers work. Ah, no, oh, there we go. Workers <laughs> still. <laughs> wow, it's been days and they still haven't filled up the bar. Let's buy one worker. We gotta do it slowly, otherwise the game crashes. Two workers. So, let's try again. <laughs> we did manage to crash the game. So, buy a worker. Okay. Let's see how many workers do we got now. Let's check on them. Ah, uh, we got a couple of workers running around here. There's four, five of them. Let's try with five workers for now. And let's get ourselves some wood choppers and try not to crash the game again. So... I like the pigs in this game. They, don't, they didn't change much, but they just have like those big eyes staring at you now texture pack. So, there we go. Mr. Foreman, give me a worker. Cancel. Give me a worker. Cancel. There you guys are. Give me a worker. I think that works better if we cancel it immediately. Give me a worker. Another one. They're just standing around here, but they will slowly collect the wood that I want. So, uh, another one. Alright. Spend some more money on the quarry worker, quarry work workers, the stonemasons here. <coughs> um, so I'm guessing this guy is still a bit buggy. I'm gonna tweet again son about that to be hope that he has an answer or that he gets around to fix him. Um, the other guy works when we cancel. This guy, if I buy another worker, he'll just crashes the game. So we gotta live with the workers as they are. Um, I do not have any more material to finish off the kingdom. But what I'm going to do is, um, off cam, I'm going to go back down to the Hall of Fame because I want to fix that up anyways off camera. And I get all the material we need for the other small houses. Let me just look where they are, where they end up. We got the, this one over here. That's a, is it a small one? Here. Ah, that's the workshop. We got a all right, I didn't even see that I built that building. Uh, yeah, the builder now has its own workshop uh, in which we can meet him. I think he has a little sleeping quarters up here. Let's check it out. 
Yeah, there we go. Uh, the standard Tale of Kingdoms beds. Um, he has his little sleeping quarters here. And yeah, that's where we we have two builders now. We have the one here in the workshop. And his twin brother. Oh, lion. Go away. Leave my... Your king is here for the rescue. Leave my villagers alone, you lion beast. And his twin brother is right here in the center still at the fountain. Um, he will always remain here until, I know, some beast kills him. And, yeah, we can meet the worker or the builder in his workshop now as well. Um, it's probably more convenient to go right to the one by the gate. But yeah, let's see where the other houses ended up. And then I think I call it an episode. We'll keep it nice, short and firm. So, I did just say short and firm, didn't I? Oh, look at the sheepy. Hey, smiley sheep. I didn't even look. Take a closer look at you in the texture pack. Heh <laughs> cool. Um, these, this, this floating cell block here. I think it's supposed to be in this building here because this guy doesn't have a cell block. But what I'm gonna, hey turkey, wow, cool. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the traveling house mod, mod, and just transport this cell block into my temple. Once we moved over here. Um, then I can just sell right from my chests, uh, which makes this whole thing more convenient. And then we can focus on uh, the dimensions and getting a pet dragon. Dragon. So, alright, I'll leave you guys with that. Um, it's just the next episode will be similar to this one. We're just going to build up the kingdom to full tier. I will make an effort of getting enough material off cam this time to go all the way to the full tier so we don't have another episode of building up the kingdom. And then we'll experiment around a little bit with the kingdom and... Do you hear that? There's a suffering horse somewhere. <laughs> yeah, then we experiment around a bit with the kingdom and get ourselves a dragon. That should be the next goal after we've done the kingdom. Uh, pet dragon. And of course we need uh, another pet elephant. Uh, season 1 pet elephant Boba. I think I want a mammoth this time. Okay, as usual, uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. Leave uh, plenty of comments below so we can discuss things uh, about the episodes and coming episodes. Uh, spread the word to help me grow this channel and then as usual, have a nice day!